Hi everybody. So in this video I'm going to show you how to solve equations involving e to the power of x and natural logs. So before we begin with these questions, we need to understand the relationship between e to the x and the natural log. So if you actually graph of e to the power of x, we know the intercept is at y equals 1, and we know we've got a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So to solve equations involving e to the x, we need to know the inverse operation of e to the x. And we should know that inverse functions are a reflection of the original function in the line y equals x. So if we reflect e to the x in this line, then we'll get the inverse of this function. So we have our reflection. When we reflect this intercept, we get an x value of 1. And we know this horizontal asymptote will be when x equals 0. So the equation of this green curve, y is equal to the log of x to the base of e. And this is the inverse function to y equals e to the x. Now because e is a natural number, we don't write it as log to the base e of x. We write it as the natural log of x. So this ln means the natural log where we have log to the base e and this is the inverse of y equals e to the x okay so as we progress through this video we'll be using each of these functions to solve equations like this okay so let's start with question a so we've got e to the x equals 8 and we need to work out x so we need to change it to x from being a power to being a multiple and the way we do this is we apply the opposite function of e to the x, which we've just said is the natural log of x. So if we apply the natural log of both sides, and now we can bring this x down in front of a natural log using a power rule. So now we've got x times the natural log of e is the log of 8. And if we think about what's going on here, this is the log of e to the base of e. And we know this is 1. If we write this in the exponent form, we've got e to the 1 equals e. So if this equals 1, then we can cancel out the natural log of e. Because we just have x times 1. So if this cancels, we have x is the natural log of 8. Okay? And this will be our solution. Okay, so for part b, Again, because this x is a power, we need to take the natural log of both sides. And that will allow us to bring this power down in front. And then we know the natural log of e is just 1. So now we get 2x plus 1 equals the natural log of 3. Then we'll take away the 1 and divide both sides by 2. So x is the natural log of 3 minus 1 divided by 2. Okay. Let's try question c. Okay, so in this example, we need to cancel out this natural log. So now we'll raise e to the power of both sides. The e to the natural log will cancel because we know it makes 1. So this leaves us with 3x minus 1 is equal to e to the 5. And then we'll add 1 to both sides and divide by 3. So we get x is equal to e to the 5 plus 1 over 3. Okay. Let's try question D. Okay, so in question D, we can rewrite the natural log of x plus 2 minus the natural log of x by putting these together using the division rule. So we get the natural log of x plus 2 of x is equal to 4. And now we can raise e to the power of both sides, and that will cancel out this natural log. And now we can move the x to the right hand side. Then we'll put all the x's on the same side, we'll move this over to here, and then factor out the x. And now we just need to divide both sides by e to the 4 minus 1. So x is 2 over e to the 4 minus 1, okay? Let's try some more questions. Okay, so we're going to apply the same rules in questions a, b, and c. Perhaps you want to try these questions yourself. You can pause the video 
And when you come back, we'll go through the work solutions. Okay, so welcome back if you had a go. So for part A, we can simplify this left-hand side because we have the same base of E in both terms. So we can add these two powers together. And this will give us E to the 2x plus 1 equals 10. Now we can take the natural log of both sides and use the power rule of logs to bring this down in front. We know the natural log of E cancels to make 1. So then we can take away the 1 and divide both sides by 2. So we get the natural log of 10 minus 1 over 2 as our solution. Part B. Well, we can see that this equation looks like a quadratic, where we've got a power of 2 here, a power of 1x here, and a constant in this term. So if we say let u equal e to the x, then we can rewrite this as u squared minus 3u plus 2. And we can factorize this. So our solutions are u equals 2 and u equals 1. So when u equals 2, we can substitute that back into here. So 2 equals e to the x. We'll take the natural log on both sides. We'll bring this power down. We can cancel the natural log of e. So x is the natural log of 2. And that's one solution. Our other solution will come from when u equals 1. And this will be when e to the x equals 1. So we know that x must be equal to 0. And these are our two solutions. Okay, so for part C. So there's a couple of things we can do here. We can use the power rule of logs to bring this 2 up to here. So this becomes the natural log of 2x squared. And then we can move this natural log of 3 to the left-hand side. So we can write this as a single log. So using the division rule, this becomes the natural log of 4x squared over 3 is equal to 1. And then we can take e to the both sides, and that will cancel out this natural log. And we know that e to the power of 1 is just e. So now we can find x squared. We'll multiply both sides by 3 and divide them by 4. And then we'll take the square root. And we can tidy this up because we know that 4 is a square number. So we'll square root the numerator and denominator separately. And this is our final solution. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did find that helpful, please like and subscribe. And you can download the full lesson from my website, mrmathematics.com. I'll leave a link in the description below.